Hello, I'm Tony DeMary, the editor of Jack, here with another issue of uh, the highlights from our May 29th issue. And the first study comes from Carl Svedberg and, and colleagues, and it deals with the influence of beta blockers on the beneficial effect of ivabradine in patients with heart failure. Now, just to remind you, the SHIFT trial caused quite a stir last year when it showed that ivabradine, which is an agent that solely reduces heart rate was uh, of benefit in patients who had class two heart failure, normal sinus rhythm, and were already on standard therapy. And of course, the question here deals with how effective ivabradine is relative to the dose of beta blockers. Uh, and what was found was that ivabradine was of greatest value in those patients who were on the lowest doses of beta blockers and those patients who had the highest heart rate. So the message that I take away and the editors take away from this paper is that in a patient with congestive heart failure, if you can reduce, maximally reduce heart rate with beta blockers, then ivabradine has a relatively small additional benefit. The real benefit of this agent and how we would likely apply it will be in those patients in whom beta blockers can't maximally reduce heart rate either because they, they can't be tolerated or for some other factor. The last study is really a, a very interesting one and recently the guidelines for prophylactic therapy in endocarditis have been changed and the question is, is this change in, in prophylaxis going to increase the incidence of, of endocarditis? And uh, to give us some insight into that, we're publishing a study from France where they looked at the temporal trends in infectious endocarditis over a period from 1991 to 2008. And just to cut to the bottom line, what they observed was that the incidence of infectious endocarditis remained stable. So this is very encouraging information that scaling down the, influ influ scaling down the indications for prophylactic antibiotics really will not cause an increased incidence of infectious endocarditis. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.